Hello, I'm Hank Green, the guy whose voice you hear in a lot of Microcosmos videos. This is my face, and this is my office, and I'm here to unbox the base model of the Microcosmos microscope. When I first started getting interested in microscopy, it was very intimidating for me to try and figure out what microscope to get. And so I'm really happy that we at Journey to the Microcosmos are able to provide the thing that we think is the best thing to get you started. And I'm gonna put it on the desk here. You'll see it, there it is. This is what it will arrive looking like. The first thing you will find when you open it up is the manual. We built this manual up from scratch uh, so you would understand all the different parts of your microscope, how to use it, doing your first samples, getting ready. There's also a QR code that links to a bunch of video tutorials that we have. And this also is available as a PDF and all updated versions will be available at microcosmos.store. And then, there's probably a bunch of ways to do this, but... Oh yeah, it's upside down now. Then turn it right back, right side up. Oh yeah, look at that baby. Enjoy the journey and share what you find. We do very much want to see your videos that you take with us. I don't care if it's just some diatom slowly gliding across the frame. I wanna see what you find. <laughs> we also have a submission form on the website where you can actually submit your footage to potentially be used in a Microcosmos video. We wanna do like clips of what y'all make. Then this will slide off if you give it enough reason to. So, we have the head. Pull out a little power cord here. There's this, which is our phone mount, which is a new version of the phone mount. A little bit of microscope oil for the thousand times objective. And then our microscope itself. This is just a blue light filter. Shoved in there will also be your cover. You wanna cover your microscope when you're not using it so dust doesn't get on the lenses and stuff. Hey, hello. The best part of buying something is taking all the little things off of it. So you've got a little tissue paper covering up the light source down there, a little tissue paper in this space for safety, and then a little tissue paper on the, the stage, is what that's called. <laughs> Twist this little guy, and then you can pop this off, and then slide this in here and then twist it back in so it doesn't fall out. Doot doot. Take out these little guys. Don't need those because the eyepieces go in there. Now remember, eyepieces are always loose, so do not turn your microscope upside down. The eyepiece will come out and fall onto the ground. And little switch. Light is on. I'm seeing a bunch of magnified nothing now. This is just magnified light. So there's a bunch of ways to control your microscope. You've got the amount of light that's coming out of the light source, and that's adjustable here. These here are your focus knobs. The big one is, you know, big focus. The small one is more fine focus. There's this little thing that actually collects the light and focuses it onto the slide. That's called the condenser, and you can move it up and down, and that affects how the light hits the slide. And there's also a diaphragm on the condenser, a little wiggly uh, piece of metal that will bring the light sort of more into a point, which can affect how it looks. Basically, if you play around with it, you'll start to see what I mean. And then on this side, this actually moves the stage around so that you can look around the slide or follow any critters that are running around. And that is the thing you'll get better at fastest, is what I've found. It's like when I first started, I was like, everything's backwards and everything's so confusing. And then after using it for a little while, um, I got very good at it. Like, not as good as James but good. This is our phone mount. That will come with a separate little instruction manual. There's also instructions in the guide for how to use the phone mount. Now, as you put your eyes on a microscope, you'll see that there's a pretty small point of light as you approach it. And it's easier with your own head to get your eyes into the exact same space because you've been moving your head around for your whole life. It takes some time after you clamp this on here to get the a right lens of your camera focused on the right point of light. Um, so it's a little fiddly, but you fiddle around for a while and then you, you're, you're able to do it. And I actually find that it can be more comfortable to be using the phone mount for long periods of time because I'm just looking at the screen rather than sort of hunching 
into the microscope. So now we're gonna use the microscope as intended. We, I'm gonna set up my camera to be in here. And we have our prepared anatomy slides, which are also available at microcosmos.store. And the box is so cool. <laughs> so this goes on here, clamps on. So we're lining up the mount with right, kind of flush with the eyepiece. So you can see that right here, basically on the same plane as the eyepiece. And then I'm gonna get this boy in here, which is gonna take a while, cause I got a big phone. Now with my phone, cause I got a big phone, I have to clamp low down so that I can actually get the lens up to where the hole is. I slide that on there. Now first I gotta set to my, uh, make sure I'm set to my double lens, my 2X. I use ProCam to, to do this because otherwise Apple will mess with you cause it's trying to fix everything. All right, now I've got my sort of little circle right in the middle and I'm gonna try and clamp it. There it is. Beautiful. And then I'm gonna zoom in. And then I don't know what the, this is gonna be some loose connective tissue. My favorite kind of connective tissue. Oh, I'm seeing some pink. Let's try and focus. Focus, focus. Hey, ooh, gross. This isn't, this isn't the sexiest of uh, objects to observe. Ciliated epithelium. Great, I actually do wanna see some ciliated epithelium now that I'm thinking about it. Some beautiful cells here to work with. See all those nuclei in there? So this is all stained, so it looks extra good. Now we also have uh, plan objectives available, so slightly higher quality lenses, which you can get a set of all four to replace all the ones you have if you have the base model and want to upgrade. We also have the 20X and the 60X available separately if you just want to get those one, one or both of those on their own. I've just put in a lymph node. Oh yeah, hello. My gosh. Boy, I tell you what, I know nothing about histology. This is not my area of expertise. Now also on the bottom of our microscope, there is a filter tray. You can put that blue light filter that comes with the microscope, or we have a set of uh, various filters that do various things and Reinberg filters that will change the color of an image. So without the filter, and then we're gonna slide the filter in place and see what happens. Ah, yeah, see there you get like a dark field effect, which on an anatomy slide is not like the greatest thing because it's been dyed for like the specific purpose, but with your microbes at your pond locally. Looks fantastic. Now the thing to note is when we're saying like 40X or 20X or 60X, when it comes to the objectives, that's gonna be multiplied by 10 because each one of these eyepieces also is a 10X. So a 40X is actually 400 times magnification because it's got the 40 times the 10 of the eyepieces. There's a fair bit to know about microscopy, but I'll tell you what, as soon as you start to do it, it becomes, you like have all of this incentive to learn and, uh, and then suddenly you wake up one day and you know the difference between a dinoflagellate and a rotifer, which if you watch this show, you're probably already there. See, it's time to take the next step and start on your own journey into the microcosmos with this beautiful object that I love having in my office. But this one's not for me, it's for you. We're gonna pack it back up. I'm gonna sign the instruction manual for you. This is the base model. You can also get an upgraded version that has the plan objectives, which are higher quality optics already installed on the microscope. Uh, that is also available at microcosmos.store. As I always say at the end of these episodes, thank you for coming on this journey with us. I really am grateful. It's a very enriching part of my life to be a part of this channel and also to have a deeper relationship with that part of our world that is so invisible to us, but is always out there. Um, and I hope very much that we can continue inviting people into that world through our videos, but also through this microscope. And if you capture something that you would like to share with us, we again have that form on microcosmos.store. From all of us here at Journey to the Microcosmos, including Matt sitting right there, uh, filming me in my office. Thank you so much for your support and your interest in this bizarre world that we all get to inhabit. <laughs>